What's up guys, this is your boy Phenomenal coming at you with some gameplay uh, with my boy Garth. Sorry, it's been a lot, it's been quite some time since my last one. Uh, I got, I've been up to some stuff and I'll let you guys know about that here in a sec. First off, I want to say that most of this gameplay I'll probably be talking about what's been up with me and a little bit more about some MW3 action. I just want to note right off the beginning though that most of my deaths uh, were down toward the lower end of the hill. So if you ever run with this Faz class, um, try not to run down bottom hill, just try to stay up in the shit, top shit building, and then in the top shit area, and I, I think that will morally work out for you. So, uh, to begin, um, I've been kind of busy lately, uh, just, uh, hanging out with friends and stuff. I haven't been playing Black Ops or Call of Duty as much. Um, I've been playing Dead Island a lot, uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, there is some cons to it though it uh, does tend to be really uh, laggy at times especially when you get to higher levels um, it definitely gets like super duper duper laggy because there's like more zombies on the map and they're harder and they become like 28 days later zombies where they're just all rushing at your ass and just lags its dick off which is not really cool. I'm not down with that. But uh, other than that, it's it's a really fun game. I suggest you guys try it out. I mean, it's nothing super holy shit special, but it's it's worth buying if not renting. Um, I I, I suggest it's worth buying because there's so many side quests and do side quests if you play it. It's a really fun game. Uh, not not as many people have been on lately. That's another reason why I haven't been playing Black Ops. Mainly because you know jobs and summer and just doing stuff um other than that uh i haven't been up to much i'm getting ready for uh nfl super bowl not super bowl well i'm retarded nfl <laughs> to start back up again uh i used to watch nfl here you know somewhat often uh back in the day but the last two years i haven't been able to watch as much because i've been uh into school so um yeah, I decided this year since I don't, I don't have as much. I I have my I'm about to start school again. It's my last quarter, and I'm doing my senior thesis. So I will be busy, but that's like I only have that in one other class, so it's just two classes. So I won't be as busy. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna get back into it. Uh, doing my first year of fantasy, um, with the help of uh, some of my team F members. Thank them uh, to Billy Silverwood and I Love Slurpees, PMS Wrath, and all of them. Because, uh, I mean, I, kn I know, like, quarterbacks, you know, who's good, but once it gets down to, like, uh, I, mean, and I mean, I know who, like, the beast modes of, and, uh, you know, who's the good running backs and somewhat good wide receivers, but I don't know everybody, so they've been helping me out, trying to form, like, a good team, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I still have a lot to learn about the, getting back into NFL. Um... What else? Yeah, just getting ready for school again. Kind of, kind of wanted to come back. Kind of don't want it to come back because uh, I'm so used to having summer. I'm not used to uh, <laughs> homework. Um, other than that, though, I'm happy because it's my last quarter. And I'll be moving back to my hometown where most of Team Effin is. My family's there, and some other friends who aren't in Team Effin. I'm happy to go back there and hang out with them as well. So. Um, so yeah, that's been pretty much what's up with me. Um, back to, uh, let's get back to some MW3. I'm going to talk about the perks a little bit. I'm not going to glist them all out. I'm just going to talk about the ones that caught my eye. I'm glad they split up Ghost. Um, and now you have to have, take up two perks to have the actual full Ghost. Um, I don't like how they split up Sleight of Hand Pro. I really thought that was kind of not needed, because Sleight of I mean, Sleight of Hand is really nice. They are the pros from, like, uh, Black Ops and from uh, from MW2. I, I don't see it as overpowering, though. Ghost was. Sleight of Hand, not so much. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they did that, but... I don't know. I guess it was something I'll take bit getting used to. Um, I like Hardline Pro now in this new one, which is... Uh, the regular is, you know, kill streaks take one less, and the pro is two assists count toward a kill streak. I like that a lot because I get a lot of assists and I know some team outfit members are going to like that a lot as well. I'll probably be using that. And uh, the, the last one I, I really like is definitely Blast Shield. Unless it has a stupid black border like it did 
in MW2, then that's going to be really annoying. Mainly because the normal one is like flak jacket from this game, like the regular flak jacket, makes you pretty much immune to all explosives. The second one gives you the gas, or the tack mask pro, where you're immune to stuns and flashbangs. I love that because it pretty much makes you like ridiculous. So combining like flat jacket and tack mask pro is a little OP in my opinion. I think that's going to be rape unless it does put the black border on, then that's going to be kind of stupid. I I might might not use it if it has the black border uh, like it did. So uh hopefully it doesn't cuz that was kind of dumb. But uh raping that guy there. Um, the guns, uh, I'm glad to see the ump back, I, I love the ump, um, UMP45 for those who don't know what ump is, um, though I want to talk about, like, the XP event where people were playing, because a lot of people were like, well, in the tournament, everybody was using SCAR, yeah, that's what they do in freaking all games, they find the gun, I guarantee you, when they were playing the free pool play before the tournament, they're like, okay, most teams are probably like, all right, which gun seems the most solid? And they probably just, out of the guns they were able to use, and they were like, probably like, oh, the SCAR. So that's what they do. They use the SCAR. Fucking MW2. What gun do they use? ACR. What do they use in Black Ops? FAMAS. Yeah. So they're going to all use the most solid gun. You know, they're not going to just be like, all right, I want you to use a submachine gun, MP5K. All right. I want you to use the um, and I want you to use uh, the M4. And that yeah you know, no they're gonna use the most the gun that seems the most steadiest because they want everybody shot to be on equal you know best par of the team um, I mean sometimes you'll see a variation when in Black Ops and number you two tournaments but uh, does it mean the Scar is the most powerful gun best gun in the game no I mean it could turn out to be but we haven't seen all the guns yet so I don't see why everybody's like fucking orgasming over the Scar. It's they they looked at what guns they had in the little amount of time that they had too, and they just picked one that seemed the most solid to them. So it doesn't mean Scar is going to be absolutely holy shit ridiculously powerful. I mean it could be. We never know. But uh, just I, I'm just sick of kids saying like, oh I'm just going to be rocking the Scar when it comes out. You know, rock everything. Try everything. You know, I mean. Going down the line, people are still figuring out guns for Black Ops that are ridiculous. Like, the fucking... The, the Spectre is ridiculous. MP5K, at the beginning, nobody ever really used. Now they have the Rusher class that everybody fucking uses. So, you can't just, you know, be like, oh, that gun's gonna be ridic. You gotta you gotta look at all the guns. So, that that's my opinion on it. And that pretty much kind of sums up this uh, thing, you know. Uh, not much else... To, to say about MW3, I mean, everybody's been kind of talking about it, so guns look cool, perks look cool, hardline, or I mean, the, the kill streaks look cool, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned, I got some commentaries of some Team Evan members coming up, so, uh, check that out, and peace.